Good morning, traders. It is Monday, January 4th, and we're about four hours into trading. Let's get started. You know, yesterday I released a video, came out around 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon central time. There is no way that I had any indication of what the market was going to be doing or any individual stocks. There was no news on it. So my picks yesterday, I had three of them. We were going to be trying to sell a bullish put spread on COST. And I showed you exactly that bullish put spread that we we're going to be trying to get filled on. We were not able to get filled on it because look what COST did. Rally, rally, rally. So the stock is super strong. I'm going to overlay the SPY. And again, I like to prove to you that my research is valid. I'm not asking for blind trust here. I show you picks each and every day. I tell you what the stock's going to be doing, what to look for. A lot of you take those trades, you gain confidence over time, and then the majority of you have interest and you come in and take the free two-week trial. There you can see all these trades happening real time. That's how it should work. It's not how most sites work. This is legitimate research. I want you to come in. I want you to learn the system. Lots of traders in 2020 perfected the system. Now they're the ones posting trades in the chat room that conform to the patterns that we look for. So we've got this gigantic market decline right out of the gate, which, oh, by the way, if you read my pre-open market comments, and I have a link to my Twitter feed in the bottom of this video, every single trading day, you can come in and you can see exactly what I think is going to unfold for the day and why. So if we go into my blog, which is also on my Twitter feed, you can see this is my trading strategy for the first day of the new year. Not much has changed over the night. The market is overvalued and it will gap up to a new all-time high this morning. Last year, we saw an opening gap higher that reversed. Warning sign, warning sign, warning sign. We're gapping up to a new all-time high. There's a good chance that we're going to see a gap reversal. And that's exactly what I explain here. If the market easily takes out the low of the day and that opening price fails, you got to wait for support. So that's exactly what unfolded this morning. We had this big opening gap higher by the S&P 500 and instantly that gap reversed. It did not hold. So you needed to be patient. There's your opening print right there, the first five minute bar. Look out below. Here comes some very heavy selling. We're going to go into the five minute SPY chart because I also want to show you what unfolded during the course of the morning. Long red candles closing on their low. We had a little bit of support right here. This was actually the low from last week. It was the low from Friday, but it was, uh, excuse me, the low from Thursday was the last trading day last week. That was going to be temporary support. That was also the low from all of last week. And that held very, very briefly. And then we staged another big leg lower. And I was mentioning to my members, I said this little blip here, this little rally, you can see how the market tried to get some momentum here and it couldn't. This was just one single long bullish engulfing candle and one alone is nothing without some follow through. We also had my proprietary 1OP indicator coming off of a deep trough right in here. And I said, this is going to be a little bit of a bounce, but you can see the market right here. It went nowhere. Get ready for the next leg lower. We're getting this big spike in 1OP without any corresponding movement in the S&P 500. We are going to have another leg lower. Whoosh. We get that big drop. Now I'm going to try and go back into my chat room and see where I had mentioned that to members. So I'm going to keep scrolling back here and see if I can find it. I had a couple of stocks that I traded early, did well on them. And right now I'm holding a couple of stocks, NIO being one of them, FSLR being another one, CGC being another one. Those are all some pretty popular themes. And I'm trying to see where that comment might have been in. I guess on this one you're going to have to take my word for it. And uh, 1OP tank, it could be getting ready to put in a low. Market's still not showing any signs of support. 
I'm going to go down to the bottom here because I am long, and in fact, I just hit my target, made 10 S&P points off of that low right here, and I want to show you that market commentary. Just trying to get your bearings for the beginning of the year. I want you to be able to come to this YouTube channel. I want you to be able to see my research. I want to get you in on the two-week trial. I want you to see that this is all real. It's happening. And so here you can see double bottom, 10P, bullish cross, suggests that we will bounce. Use caution. Market's still in a deep downtrend, but we should get a bounce in here. And it continue to go down. And there you can see, go and check time and sales. Please do this. Verify everything. You can see that my timestamp here is central time, 12, 11 central time is when I got long ESPY. 366.65 and I let members know I'm going to be placing a limit 367.65 we just took out that level that was a nice 10 point gain how did that trade set up well we had a double bottom right in here test one test two and we had my 10p indicator with a deep trough and a bullish cross this is where I bought the futures I could see this long bullish engulfing candle holding support that's all I needed to see how does the market play out for the rest of the day this is some nasty selling this is a big gap reversal a 100 point move in the S&P 500 that's not a little deal let's go to the daily chart take a look at it and you can see very long bearish engulfing candle I've been telling you this whole way up right here we need to be very cautious. This is a fluffy little light volume rally propped up by asset managers. What do you mean propped up by asset managers? Folks, there's a year-end anomaly where the market has a tendency to float higher on virtually no volume. Why? Because asset managers are bidding for stock and they're keeping the market afloat so that they can mark the market at its all-time high on December 31st. Well, why would they do that? Because everybody's really happy when they open their end-of-year statements and because asset management fees are really high because there's a lot to be managed. Prices are as high as they've ever been. Well, now that the bonuses are locked in, there's no reason for them to support the market. You also have bullish sentiment at extremely high levels. A forward P, not a forward PE, a current PE of 40 on the S&P 500. Valuations are super rich. Perfection is priced in. So, of course, you're going to get some nasty selling days just like this. And you could sense that it was brewing. That's why I have zero swing trades going into the new year. Instead of worrying about losing positions, what are we doing? We are looking for opportunity. So let's look for some opportunity, but let me tell you how the day is going to shape up. You're not going to see much of a bounce until very late in the day. Yes, we've got a nice little bounce here. We might even be able to make it up to the 370 level or so, but eventually this bid is going to start to deteriorate after a heavy, heavy round of selling like this, and you're going to see another drift lower perhaps to the low of the day. I don't believe that we're going to see a meaningful bounce today until maybe the last half hour of trading. With the runoff happening in Georgia, that's a market moving event. I believe that the market is pricing in at least one Republican victory. If that happens, then Republicans will retain control of the Senate by the slimmest of margins and the tax cuts by Trump will be preserved. That's all the market cares about. Any surprise right now favors the downside. But the market is really looking for at least one of those Senate seats to be held by Republicans. So I think we have a bearish trend day today. I think asset managers take a breather. They don't need to take on a lot of risk. The market is priced for perfection. It's near an all-time high. You have bullish sentiment at extreme levels. Bullish speculators are getting flushed out right now. This could last for a couple of days, so there is no reason to rush in and get long here.
You have to be very, very patient. Yes, there will be bounces like this that we can play. Now, on a longer term basis, the market is still in a very nice bullish uptrend. We had some Fed speak this morning, as you might expect. They've said expect interest rates to may remain low for a very, very long time. You have an upward sloping trend line here that is still preserved, but it was challenged today. I believe that that is something that you want to be watchful of. This is your gauge right here. We need to see this preserved. And if this is violated and we close below it and you are long a lot of stock or you have a lot of long risk exposure, I think this is a point right here where you want to be super cautious. Ideally, you've been taking profits into strength all the way up in here. But if you've got a lot of exposure, you might want to be a little bit careful in here. The VIX is very, very low going into the first trading day of the year. That tells me that there's complacency. Nobody's worried about a big drop. That's when the big drops happen. So we'll go in and take a look at a couple of stocks that I really like today. I'm also going to go in and I'm going to do a quick recap on the three stocks that I showed you yesterday. NIO. Look at this beast. Up for the day on a 100-point S&P reversal. This is one that we were hoping to sell an out-of-the-money bullish put spread on. Look at that baby go today in a weak market. This is a testament to how well this trading system works. The other one that I showed you was COST. I really like that. We're still trying to get that bullish put spread done. Look at this stock. It hasn't even flinched. The other, not a stock, it's an ETF, it's gold. I also mentioned gold yesterday in my video. I didn't know that it was going to surge higher like this today. You can see the downward sloping trend line that was breached to the upside. That's one of the reasons I liked it. If I put up the major moving averages, you can also see it's well above the 100-day moving average right now. That also, very, very good. Nice upward sloping trend line here. Horizontal support right here. There were a lot of reasons that I mentioned to you yesterday that I like gold. I did not take a position in it this morning. I would not have taken a position in it with a big gap like this. I need a retracement. We had another big outlier right here before and it looked like it was going to get going. I got head faked into this move right here, and I regretted it down in here and stopped out for one of my only swing trading losses last year. Not going to make the same mistake. That's why I did not take a position in it yesterday in the video. On the open this morning, we wouldn't have been chasing it anyway. But it shows you that the research and the analysis and the stocks that are coming up in these searches, they are strong and these are the ones that you want to be focused on so we're sitting in cash we're looking for some opportunities let's take a look at some stocks that are showing some promise today nil looks really good this is one that i think that on a bounce later today that you can buy i would not be long any overnight swings right here with this type of market selling with the fact that we have a likely bearish trend day unfolding today. I think you'll have lots of opportunities to get long. NIO is the type of stock that we like. You can see the strength and you can see how it's still up for the day. FSLR, another nice one. Solar, EV cars. That theme seems to be very strong right now with uh, President elect biden probably taking the reins i mean it looks more and more likely well these will be themes that play out another theme that you can also watch for is cgc you can see that that stock is also up today possible national legalization of pot i mean that's what's being talked about right now and you can see that that stock would also benefit you can see the big rally that it had out of the gate yes it's given up some of its gains but look at how well it bounced before the market even found its low. So I'm going to put up the five minute chart on the S&P 500 and then you'll be able to see there you've got the stock holding all of its gains, really getting on that support way back in here. It has been making a higher low. So here, classic example, market makes a new low for the day, stock makes a new low for the day. Market bounces and come back, comes back and tests that low of the day. Stock does not get back to the low of the day. That is the definition of relative strength. That is what we trade. Put up the 1 OSI indicator, proprietary indicator. 
Look at the relative strength right in there. Orange line above zero tells us it's got a really good bid and it wants to move higher. We can also search for this. I've got tons of searches that are canned. You've got custom searches that are available to you. This is how we trade every day. Banner year 2020, we're going to keep doing it in 2021. Really hope to have you aboard. So I think this is another stock that can do very well. Let's keep taking a look, see what else we've got. We'll go into relative strength 30. All these stocks are down. I want to see stocks that are up today, so I'm going to stick with heavy buying. Going to continue to take a look at these stocks in here. INO is one that has been on my radar today. That one also looks really good. You can see, nice rally up. Right now it's hitting this resistance level right in here. That looks excellent. So I'm going to continue to take a look for a couple of more. Uh, FSLR, I think I highlighted. That's holding its own. Take a look at that daily chart. There you can see, nice breakout here. You've got horizontal support right here. Was checked last week. Now it's continuing to move higher. Got a little bit of a bullish flag formation right here. Stock can get up and close near its high. It could possibly have some nice legs. I love the fact that the stock is holding its own in a market meltdown right now. Walmart, love it. This is one that I actually sold an out of the money bullish put spread on. I sold the January 22nd expiration, Jan 22s. I sold the 142 puts, bought the 141 puts, did that for a 22 cent credit on Walmart. Love these long tails under body, bullish hammers right in here. Love the follow through today. It's got a little bit of a problem trying to get through the 50 day moving average on such a weak day. Downward sloping trend line violated to the upside. That is bullish. 100 day moving average support. I'm leaning on it. That's why I'm down to the 142 strike price. I like this bullish put spread today. Walmart. I think Walmart's going to continue to move higher. So that's what I've got for you today. Walmart looks great. Watch the video that I posted yesterday, Sunday. Verify that what I say is true is actually true. Gain confidence in this YouTube channel. Subscribe to the videos. Make sure you turn on your notifications so that you never miss any of these videos. And in the description below, you'll find a link to my Twitter feed. Follow me on Twitter. Before the open every day, you'll know exactly where I stand, how I plan to trade the market. Good luck to all of you in 2021. Let's make some money. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.